Hello and welcome to this session in which we will prepare a continuous multiple step comprehensive income for year X2 including EPS and it's going to be a single continuous multiple step statement of comprehensive income. Why do we say a single continuous multiple step? Because when it comes to comprehensive income we have two options. We can have one statement that include both income statement and comprehensive income or we can have we can have two statement what is two statement two statement means we could have the income statement separately and comprehensive income a separate income statement now what is what is comprehensive income it include all the changes in equity during a period so comprehensive income includes everything except those resulting from investment by owners and distribution by owners simply put comprehensive income would include everything that changes equity except contribution made by the shareholders which is common stock investments and dividend and withdrawals made by the shareholders it does not include those so comprehensive income would include everything else usually it would include foreign currency translation gains and losses on cash flow hedges unrealized gain and losses on available for sale securities everything everything so giving everything let's see what we are giving here and how are we going to approach this exercise so we have the trial balance trial balance right here for Adam company for December 31st X1 we have sales cost of goods sold selling and administrative interest expense gain on debt securities the gain on the debt securities is unrealized it means it goes under other comprehensive income the trial balance does not include the accrual for income taxes Adam's income tax rate is 25%. In other words, we have to compute the tax. There were 1 million shares of common stock outstanding as of the year X1. So simply put, we need to prepare a single continuous multiple step statement of comprehensive income. How do we start? We start by looking, by not looking, by preparing the income statement. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. The income statement would include the name of the company, Adam Corporation, the statement of comprehensive income, because this is going to be a statement of comprehensive income, not only the income statement portion, but we're going to prepare that first. And for year ended, it's going to be for a period year ended it's for the whole year of year x1 okay what goes on the income statement portion of the statement of comprehensive income obviously revenues 2.3 million done we listed the revenues then what comes next we have cost of goods sold 1.4 million cost of goods sold we subtract that from revenue and we come up with gross profit of 900,000 what do we do next from gross profit we would deduct our selling and administrative expenses or operating expenses which is 420,000 and from that we are going to get to operating income sometimes it's called EBIT earnings before interest and taxes and when when you are evaluating a company when you are looking at a company and you want to evaluate how well or not well a company is doing because when you want to invest, when you want to evaluate the company's performance, the, the line that you would look at the most is operating income or operating loss for that matter. Why? Because operating income, it's telling you how well the company is doing from an operating perspective. Because if you invest in a company, you're interested in determining whether they are making a profit or not. If they're not making a profit from operating their business, that's a problem. That's a problem. And what could be even a, a worse problem? If they are not making gross profit. If your gross profit is negative, it means you are selling 
uh, for less than cost of goods sold, right? But you should have at least a gross profit, but after gross profit, you should have expenses to cover, but not not to wipe you out. If they wipe you out, it, it's not a big deal. Some companies, they do operate at a loss for a period of time, as long as you could explain why. What should you do? Go to Farhat Lectures. Look at additional resources, exercises, multiple choice, true, false. Additional exercises, resources, and true, false. For what purpose? To invest in yourself, to invest in your education. The best investment you can make is invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.